What's up guys, my name is Hudson McDonald and today I'm going to show you how to make a time-lapse time slice in Adobe Lightroom in Premiere Pro. Alright, so for the setup you're going to need a camera, a tripod, and an intervalometer. If you have a newer camera, it should have an intervalometer built into it. Step one is to put your camera into aperture priority mode so the exposure changes as it gets darker. Then turn on the intervalometer to take 600 shots and take a shot every 8 seconds. Set your aperture to f5.6 and set your ISO to 400 so once it gets darker it doesn't have to do too long of a shutter speed. And also make sure to put your camera on manual focus so the focus doesn't change and if you don't have autofocus on it'll save you a bit of battery. Now all you got to do is hit the shutter button, start the time lapse, and that's it for the setup. All right, so first things first, we start in Adobe Lightroom. You're going to import all your time lapse photos into Adobe Lightroom and you're going to apply a base edit to the photos. So you can just go on one of the photos here, make some adjustments, set a white balance that's going to work for all of them. And then what you can do is click Control or Command C if you go to the first photo and then go to the last photo and hold shift and click the last photo and then click command or control v then it'll paste your edit settings onto all the photos and then what we're going to do is click file export and export all the photos as 628 photos for me so this might take a while depending on how good your computer is just go get a snack go take a shower all right so next we're going to hop into premiere pro and we're going to create a new project time slice tutorial file import and then find your folder where you exported all the photos to so yeah make sure you start with number one and then click uh, options and make sure this is checked off make sure you're importing it as an image sequence and then just click import it's going to pop up over here drag it onto the timeline and then we have to set up our sequence settings so i'm going to be doing 1920 by 1080 since this is a youtube video 24 frames per second for the fps is i'm going to size this until it I have a nice view and this is actually off a bit so i'm gonna do all right so now you have your time lapse imported into premiere pro but how do we turn it into a time slice step one is you're going to type 2000 which will bring us to 20 seconds in the timeline and we're actually just going to go to speed and duration the time lapse to be 20 seconds long so now we have 20 seconds long because we're going to be doing 20 time slices what you can do is go to Lumetri Color and you're just gonna color grade the first frame. The white balance, brighten it a little bit, add a little bit of contrast. And then after you color grade that, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the effect controls and go to open basic corrections and set all of these as keyframes. And it should transition smoothly with the sky changing. So we're gonna go to 400. We are gonna make our adjustments. So now I think that's too pink. We're gonna go to 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, which is gonna bring you to the end. So you're gonna get this black screen. So just hit the arrow key back and go back a frame. This is way too warm. So I'm gonna cool it down, drag these keyframes and make sure they're going all the way to the end. All right, so now that you're done with the color grading, what you're gonna do, drag the crop effect onto that. And then you're gonna go on right. You're gonna click 95. And then that's gonna be our first slice, as you can see here. And then you're gonna go to 100. And that's gonna bring us to the one second mark. Hold Option or Alt. And you're gonna drag this clip up, go to the crop, which is already gonna be on it. And then you're gonna move this to 90. And you're gonna move the left to five. And then that's gonna be our second slice. 200, Alt or Option, and drag this up. 85, 10, and that's gonna be our third slice. So every time you drag a new clip up, you're gonna bring the right down by five, and you're gonna bring the left up by five. And to make sure you're on the right track, make sure the right plus left always equals 95% and you're gonna do this all the way up until 19 seconds. All right, so we're done all of that and your time slice should look like this. It looks really nice. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the 20, 0, 0, select all of these and click Control or Command K. I'm gonna take this selected area, drag this over to this side, select it all and then right click and nest. And if you play it through, my computer can't really handle this. It's a little bit choppy, but you can see that it's working. So yeah, that's basically the time slice. What you can do is you can speed it up. You can do it in vertical if you're going to post it on Instagram or TikTok. You can do it with five slices. I've even seen some people do it with like squares or triangles. I don't know how to do that part yet, but video coming soon. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down below what tutorial you want to see next. And thank you for watching.